Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today I'm on the river and Monkey had a couple things to do, so uh, she's gonna go do them and I'm gonna sit here and fish for a little bit. Hopefully we'll catch something. I got my body camera on today. Hopefully it holds out. Monkey dropped it onto the pavement, so uh, it turned on and everything. I did a test recording. Check, check. One, two, one, two, three, four, check. Monkey dropped my camera, so <laughs> just checking it. So hopefully it'll be all right. Um, tell you more about that later. It was kind of cute. Uh, so anyway, let's get these poles baited up. I'm going to use hers and mine, and uh, let's see if we get anything. Stick around, guys. Okay, so just got some chicken gizzards here. I do have some livers in there if I want to switch off, but this is monkey's rod and reel right here. So I'm putting a kind of a big chunk on it, and I'm going to set it out there and uh, geez, what's going on here? There we go. We'll set it out there and just leave it. And then I'll fish with mine, I'll work with it. I'm not gonna use any lures today. As always, I know a lot of you guys wanna see me do some bass fishing. Um, I do have some lures, I'll have to get some lures and I'll, uh, when I get the boat straightened out, I'll take the boat out and we'll do some, we'll do some bass fishing this summer. Uh, I'm not really into bass fishing. I like to cast out, sit back, smoke a cigarette, and wait. But, you know, if you guys want to see that, you know, that's no problem. I will do that for you. No biggie. I just don't do it a lot. Her her, her reel's going to need taken apart and cleaned up. I think it's got a little rust in it. It feels kind of funky. Um, so, but let's get this one casted out. Yeah, see it. It stops because that's about all the farther she casts. And uh, so, you know, if you're casting out say 20 yards and you do that for a few times, like go out fishing a few times and you, and you, keep, and you keep casting about say 20 yards, it, it gets used to that and it, it'll like stop. Not every time, but it'll get, and that's where you start reeling it in so it kind of gets tight on the real inside of here and or on the drum or whatever you want to call it but what it does that then it's you know it kind of wants to stop so like mine I, I always uh, mine before I before I cast in and start fishing I'll cast out two or three times get the line you know get the line straightened out more um, they do need restrung and I don't know if I strung them last year so that's better that's about halfway out so that's good all right now want to get mine I just got a little piece for mine so I'm gonna get mine baited up get it casted out I'll kick you back on here in a minute all right, guys, so I got mine casted out. Just in here waiting. Hasn't even been five minutes yet. Opened up a pop, lit a cigarette. But yeah, she, uh, I brought some stuff down. I walked back up to the car through this little maze thing here they got. And, uh, and, uh, I seen something fall. I seen her bend down and pick it up. I seen her wiping it off and then I seen her looking back at me. I said, I said did you drop my camera? <laughs> yeah. I said, well, that's great. It's okay because it's your body cam. <laughs> I said, it's still a camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, that was kind of funny. Uh, I got to get a couple rods. I have a couple more reels at the house. I got to. Get two or three more rods and uh, 
and then I've got her dad's deep sea fishing one. Um, you don't cast it, you know, it's just like you take your boat out and you drop it down or you can troll with it, but it's like a 275 pound rod. Um, but yeah, down here in Florida, you can fish with three, four, five poles if you want, rods. Uh, in Ohio, well, when I left, six years ago anyway, um, we was only allowed to have two rods per person in the water at, at any given time. And uh, one time, my ex and I was fishing this little area, and uh, we got casted out and everything, and she'd walk back to the car, which was only honest, man, 30, 40 feet max. She went back to the car to get something, and she had hers in, in the water, and she was just fishing with one, and... A game warden rolls up, you know. You doing any good? I said, I don't know. We just got here like five minutes ago. He says, well, says, you know, you can't have more than two rods in the water. I said, I know that one's hers. He says, yeah, but technically she's not right here with it. If you're watching it for her, you're actually fishing with it. I said, look, you know, it just brought me the wrong way. And, and it was his attitude. I said, look, I'm not even going to argue with you. I'll give you my ID. I'll give you my fishing license. But you go ahead and write me up with that for that. And I'll just go ahead and take that to court. Because I don't think you're going to make that stick. And I'm, but no more did I say that. She was right here already. I said, see, she's right here. She was like 30, 40 feet away. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm not going to argue with you. I said, I'm not going to argue with you either. I just told you that. I don't have time for you. Write me up and get the hell out of here and let me go about my day. Well, he didn't didn't say anything didn't nothing after that he just turned around and walked away uh, you know it's like write me up whatever you know have fun with that one you know waste the court's time because you know my ex walked 30 40 feet back to the car to grab a drink you know I, you know i ain't got time for it i'm not gonna argue with it. that's what i just told you i'm not gonna argue with you write me up and i'll deal with it in court right now i want to fish he did one of those huh turn around walked away and just didn't say anything i'm like man you know and he was sitting there, we seen him sitting there when we came in. What he was doing was using his binoculars, checking people fishing. I mean, he had to see us. I mean, no more did we get casted out. And she goes, oh, I got to get my drink, I think it was. And then here he rolls up, you know, trying to write me up, $50 fine or whatever for more than one rod. And, I, and, and, and you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, each rod is, is separate. So, like, if you would have four rods out there, I could write you up for two of them. Look, I'm not going to argue with you, you know. <laughs> so that's the story for today. But uh, it's still early in the afternoon yet. Water's really low, really low today. So someone painted where the end of the ramp is over there on that, on that wall. And I really don't think... I might be able to get the boat in here if I wanted, but it'd be close. Because the water's so low. So, you know, that might help us out a little bit. Because I know when the water's up, they, they're back in the woods. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I see a fish swimming over there. It's about this long. Because the way the sun's shining. And it's only like, I don't know, a foot deep over in that area. So, all right, guys. I'll be back with you. Let's see if we catch anything. Okay, so I switched over to some chicken liver. I'm getting bites. I just had one on my rod. I don't know if this thing picked it up or not, my body cam. Because I wasn't rolling with you guys here. But I didn't catch anything. But uh, I think whatever it was was small. The way it was hitting. Uh, gave a little, couple little tugs and then it just stopped. So Give it a few more minutes. So I was just talking to a gentleman paddled up here on a little uh, on a little uh, kayak. You better stay in that shade. That's why I'm here. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that any good? I've only been here about 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah. He was telling me he's got his dog with him. Last week down here at Gum Slough, 
that's kind of diagonal from where we go. Well, it is diagonal across the river from where we go fishing at or camping at. And I, I, I've had you there a few times on our boat. I was fishing last week. I had my canoe, not the kayak, but I had my canoe. And I had her in the boat <laughs> with my electric trolling motor. And I was right at the mouth of Gum Slough down here. And I hooked a butte. I mean, biggest bass I've ever caught in here. That was probably five, six pounds. Wow. And I'm using a real ultralight. Four yeah. pound test. So I got to play him and play him and play him. You know? yeah. I finally get him up next to the canoe and I go to lip him. And my dog, she, she got all frantic. She, she, she gets <laughs> nuts when you hook a fish. She hit the gunnel. And when she did, my battery slid over. And that was all it took, momentum. Flipped the canoe over. No way. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> she stuck up underneath the canoe. <laughs> all my shit's in the water. <laughs> I managed to get everything back except my battery. Man. Did pretty good. And uh, he was bass fishing. And he hooked on to like a five pound bass. I think that's what he said it was. And uh, he was bringing it in and his dog goes crazy whenever he hook a fish. And when he got it up in, up into the air, uh, his dog jumped up on the gunnel of the boat, which if you guys don't know, that's the yeah, the edge, the rail of the boat. He was in his canoe and he had his trawling motor and battery. And before he could do anything, that dog flipped that boat over. Everything spilled out and his dog, he's trying to get his dog, was up under the canoe. <laughs> he said he got everything back except his battery, so that's good. I didn't ask him if he, he got the fish, but I figure he probably did. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> he said the bass are hitting real good in here now, right now because it's really low. So, <clears throat> yeah, now would be the time to do some bass fishing for you guys. But I don't know if my body camera was rolling for that story or not. Um, uh, yeah, so... If it was, I just told you a story for nothing. <laughs> well, you heard it twice. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's rolling now. Or not. Yeah, I got it rolling now. I'm just getting a few little hits, nothing major. Nothing big enough, I think, to get the bait and hook in its mouth, so. But that's okay. We're still out fishing, right? Hey, I got something messing around with my rod here. This one here, so. I think there's something on the end of it, but I'm not sure. It's acting a little strange, let's see. Yeah, I think there's something on it. There is. Woohoo! Whoa. I might need the net for this one. Damn it, turtle. All right, let me see if I can get the net and get him up out of here. There it is. All right, let me see if I can get this hook out of his mouth. Get my glasses on. That guy's talking to, he mentioned that too. <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't caught a big old soft shell out of here yet. I'm surprised you ain't got a soft shell turtle yet. <laughs> I hate that. I always catch a turtle down here. Oh, yeah, always. Well, let's weigh him. Let's see what he weighs.
All right, I got it on pounds. Oh, crap. Yeah, it came out of the net. Let's see if I can get it back in the net. We'll weigh. Five point six two. Five point six two. All right. Now let's get him off of there. He went around the side of the camera. I thought he was going to drag the damn camera. I try to get the hooks out of their mouths whenever I can. I think I'm gonna have to cut this one. I hate doing that, but <sighs> it'll rust, so there he goes. Alright. Let me get hooked back up here. See what else we can do. Well I've been down here for several hours. The only thing I've caught was that turtle but uh i mean they're biting i'm getting all kinds of bites but they're small they gotta be little fish uh hope monkey gets there pretty soon because mosquitoes are out and i don't have any repellent with me so uh they're not biting yet but they're flying around me so i figure she gonna i figure she's making her mom supper and then she'll probably eat too before she comes and gets me so yeah, nothing, nothing major. I mean, a couple good bites, but uh, like this one here is just, it's hitting, but that's about it. It's like that. And then they'll usually leave. And then that's that's it. <clears throat> Had a couple good runners, but you know, by the time I grabbed the, the rod, you know, they were gone. <laughs> but they are hitting. Well, it's 8:34. I'm starting to get bit now, <laughs> like mosquito bit. Uh, monkey's not here yet, so hopefully she'll be here soon. It's getting pretty dark. I know it doesn't show it in the camera, but getting pretty dark <clears throat> still just getting bites nothing big enough to take the bait or anything like that so this is probably going to be it if I catch anything after this it'll be bonus footage I'll let you know in the video somewhere that 
I have bonus footage coming up, but so I don't know. <laughs> uh, I thought, you know, a lot of catfish would be hitting, but it's really shallow, like right in here, out about 30 feet. You can you can see the bottom. You got to get out towards the middle if you want to go deeper into the water, but. Eh, it's still fun. Still a fun day. At least I got a video up for you. We did catch something. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a solo overnighter. Because I didn't bring any food or anything. So I haven't eaten yet today either. So uh, getting a couple bites again, but nothing major. He's probably a little bluegill or something, maybe some crappie. Uh, I've seen a turtle, smaller turtle out here swimming around. I'm trying to stay away from him. Hate catching turtles. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. If there's any bonus footage, it'll be in right now. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Well, it's 9.02, about 9.03 now. I think she just pulled in. I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I would throw some coin down that she fell asleep. Let's find out. You fall asleep? No. No? Uh -uh. I was just telling them that I'd bet some coin if I was a betting man that you fell asleep. Nope. Mm -mm. Watching my shows. Oh, that, shit. <laughs> yeah, that was that was going to be my next thing. <laughs> Timu. Huh? Timu shows. Shaber is more important than Timu. Well, I figured you wanted. You never told me what time to get you. So well, I mean. I figure at dark I come and get you. <laughs> it's been dark for half an hour. Well, I had issues. I've been getting beat up. I had issues. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, there you guys go. At least we didn't get skunked. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.